Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fugit's Blitz. Now, there are some tanks in the game that people just don't like. And people think that they're absolutely rubbish. In fact, I remember a while back now, Martin Dogger, you remember him? Really cool guy, he used to do some great videos, but he hung up his spurs. He once did a video on this little tank, the American Tier 8 T69. And his video started with, it's like the worst tank in the tier. And you know what? It isn't. It's not the worst tank, not by a long shot. But, and it's a big but, it is an incredibly difficult tank to play. And therein lies the problem. Because tier eight, let's be honest, is filled with premiums, which means it's filled with newer players spamming their little gold tanks that they've just purchased and they're shiny and new. And this tank isn't for the faint-hearted. I mean, it is a really difficult tank to play. But, and again, it's another you big butt, because I like big butts and I can not like them. That's just stupid. I actually like this tank. I think this tank is not the best. Don't get me wrong, I don't think it's the best, but I like it. I think it's a fun little tank. It's not noob friendly, I'll give you that, because it's basically the introduction to that T57 heavy line. And with all introductory tanks, it takes a little bit of getting used to, because let's be frank, it doesn't really have good armor. I mean, one, it's an American tank, so its lower hull is paper thin. And its turret, while it will bounce, isn't exactly rock solid. It also is an autoloader, which means you've got this longish reload. Okay, you've got three shells in the magazine, but you've still got a longish reload once you've emptied your clip and shot your load, so to speak. Ooh, that uh, sounds a bit rude. But what is it about this tank? Well, it's got a really good gun. Okay, on occasion, it looks like it may struggle to pen, and yes, it does on occasion struggle to pen. But if you aim it in the right direction, which is sort of makes common sense sort of knowledge, isn't it? Then it will do the job that it's designed to do. I mean, I'm not having any troubles penning any of these tanks, mainly because they're at the back of me and I'm hitting their weak spots. It's also got really, really good mobility. It's actually pretty nimble for a heavy tank. So these things all coupled together actually make a pretty decent tank. Okay, I get really miffed with this standard because all I've done is track him every single time and that's bloody annoying. So why do people struggle in this tank? Why are they struggling in the tank? Because they don't understand it. And that's one of the main problems with Blitz. And one of the main problems with newer type players. This is not a tank that you can just go out and YOLO in. You can't do that, guys, even though it sort of is a heavy. Because that reload and that lack of armor is going to hurt you. So it's more like a medium tank. It's more like a second line tank. You've got to know your escape routes and you've got to know the maps. You've got to know where to put this thing. You've got to know where you're going to be when you're on your long drum reload. And once you understand that, once you understand it's got pretty good gun depression, once you understand it's a nice little haul down tank, and once you understand that the reload time isn't as bad as you think, you will start to play this tank slightly better than you previously did. Now again, I'm not pitching this to the pros out there. They know how to throw this thing around the battlefield and do sort of oodles amount of harm and damage to the other side. I'm pitching this to those players who are coming across this tank or that it's in their garage and they've just never really jowled with it. You've got to approach this tank slightly differently than you would some others. And that is the trick. And as I said, I mean, this is a great introductory tank. Once you learn how to play this tank, then believe me, the T-54 that you get in tier 9, followed by the T-57 Heavy you get in tier 10, will make a lot more sense. And you will start to have a lot more fun and be more successful. Well, maybe not successful, but you'll be at least more effective in those upper tier tanks. So don't be shy about this tank. Don't just you know, think it's that thing that you don't want to use, you stick it in the garage, it grabs cobwebs and you roll it out every other birthday. 
give it a bash and try to be a bit more TLC with it. Give it a little bit of tender living care. Keep it on the second line. Don't put it in the front line, guys, because it's just gonna get damaged. And you can see here, the way I'm playing it on dead rail, I'm, I'm finding those spots where I can hide. I can be relatively protected while I'm going haul down on my long reload. And I can still get decent shots in a cat track in there. But I can still get the shots in, I can still have fun, I can still be effective. And that is the trick. And ironically, it's not just the trick to this tank, that's the trick to a lot of tanks in this game. And I see a lot of players rolling around like headless chickens, thinking that they've got either massive amounts of armor or, or they've got a huge turn of speed and they can get away with certain things. Guys, you can't. The tanks have parameters for a reason. And you need to know those parameters and you need to know what the good, the pros, the cons and everything are of the tank. And as I said, this tank has good gun depressions, pretty good hold down. It's got pretty, pretty decent gun, but it's got no armor. So that should be saying to you, don't put it on the front line. You need to stick it in places where it's not going to be bullied and you need to be the bully. And that's all I've done here. So, I like the T69. Not because it's got a really cool name, because it has. Um, but because it's a really good tank. It's actually one of those tier eights that is totally undervalued. And a lot of people don't really like it. And when you look at Blitz Stars, it doesn't have a great win rate. And it's not the tank that's to blame here realistically it's the way we play them anyway i've got a nice mastery and it counts by the way to the aces competition that's currently running anyway that's then the t69 and it's been my little view on it i can food it by all means comment and everything below tell me your thoughts on this tank because i know a lot of people hate it a lot of people think it's daft but look what i'm gonna do to this poor old st1 and this is why i love this tank because you can do stuff like this and it's really good fun by all means as i said comment and everything below and let me know your thoughts and until the next time guys remember it's just a game it's designed to have some fun so stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because seriously that is what it is all about having fun and being happy